Hi, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. Today I'm in Bennettsville, South Carolina at 310 Myrtle Avenue. It's at the corner of Myrtle and Queen. We have a, a nice little three bedroom, one bath house. Needs a little TLC. Has a green porch on the back and it has an extra lot um, that fronts on Queen Street. Right now, I'm not sure exactly how we're going to sell it, but when you see the bin, you can decide whether we'll sell it as one or uh, two separate pieces. This is a brick home, so let's head inside, take a look, see what you see. All right, as I'm headed in the house, I just want to um, look at a couple of things as I look back from the front porch. Uh, this little ramp I'm walking up to be taking home, but look how nice these homes are around here. They're taken care of. Uh, vacant lot next door, but looks pretty nice. Uh, a lot of homes here. Uh, we got a broken tile porch here, which is a nice feature. Need a little repair work here on this porch, a little paint. Uh, the shingles on the house look okay. I'm not a roofer, but you can come out and check it out yourself. Drive by here anytime. Or as I uh, stepped in the door, I noticed earlier, uh, pretty bright colors, but that's all right. That can be painted, changed if you want to. Uh, this room looks fine. The ceiling looks pretty good in here. And uh, there's hardwood floors. Looks like somebody's put a coat of dark paint on them, but I can see where it's scuffing off. This probably sand up and finish pretty easy. And uh, a lot of, not a lot of maintenance on a hardwood floor. Just give you a view back at the front. All right, I'm gonna step in the kitchen, have a little bit of vandalism here. That box in the middle is your uh, water heater. It went in this hole over here. It looks like somebody's taking our uh, sink. It has plastic pipe, so maybe the plumbing's still intact. Um, I'm guessing that's where the stove was. They ripped the wire out of the wall for it, but that's not too bad. Hey, a little cleaning in this room. Uh, get a coat of paint on it. So far it looks all right. Um, I've got a two-tone floor in here. You might be able to use this flooring. And over by the water heater, I noticed uh, there's washer connection over there. Also, ceiling not too bad in here. I think a coat of paint would make a world of difference. All right, and this house has uh, three bedrooms. This is a middle bedroom. Had a little vandalism in here too. Tell you, they jerked the light fixture out. and looked like they might got a little dab of wire, but I see a piece of hanging there. So I don't think that's too bad. All right, and in here, uh, again, we have some hardwood floors. Vandalism makes it hard to see, but uh, just some good cleaning around here and get these bushes trimmed back make a world of difference in this house. Like I said, we're selling it to uh, collect the debt. We're uh, not gonna spend a lot of money on maintenance uh, when we do that. This is a back bedroom. Again, we've got those bright colors, a little dark in here. Uh, tried to jerk the light fixture down. I see the wire there with it. I don't know why they wanted the light fixture. I wouldn't think it would have been a chandelier or anything. Again, uh, need a little tension over here on the wall, a little cleaning, maybe some Clorox, a little paint, make a world of difference in this house. Hardwood floors again, and it's that, that spot where the light came out, the rest of the ceiling uh, looks okay. All right, we have one more bedroom. That's the back bedroom I was in. This pink one was the middle bedroom. Here's a bath. It's a small bath, but it's got all the essentials. Um, has a pedestal sink, has access from two bedrooms. There's your tub, your toilet. And uh, they went for that two-tone floor again, something different in the middle. This might be a little bit of tile or something there. Not sure what that is. Um, in here, probably gonna have to scuff the ceiling and uh, repaint and do a little mud work on the walls, but not a bad looking little room here. According to what you're gonna use the house for. And then here's our front bedroom. It does have a closet over here to the side. 
Um, I'll go across the room so we can look back. Again, they tried to take the light fixture down, but this one didn't come. Maybe it hit them in the head. All right, as you can see, pretty stable house. It's uh, got good bones, brick house. Why don't we head outside and we'll take a quick tour around the yard. All right, this is about where we started. Um, a slight little dip in the roof there. I'm not sure what that is. I didn't see any leakage inside. Uh, trim probably need a little work on it. We'll come around. This is a screen porch on the back. Looked like they were hauling off the stove too. That's a nice area. Uh, this is kind of in the middle of the day. Be out here in the shade later on. Just need some bushes cut back, shrubbery. This is that extra lot that adjoins. I think they probably one time maybe use that for a garden space, probably. Um, but it's a good brick home. Okay, I'm out in front of the house. Just taking a quick uh, look. You can see we're at a corner. It's got a nice side yard, plenty of space out here. Just need to cut back the shrubs. Like I had a satellite dish and some awnings and just needs to be cleaned away. It'll help. Not much I can show you with all that shrub. And then, uh, but somebody planted flowers in the yard at one time. I'm sure it was a beautiful place. And it can be that way again. And we're down to our vacant lot. Front's here on Queen Street. Like I said, I'm not sure whether we're gonna offer them together or separate, but this looks like it had a fence around it, had a gate at one time. I'm guessing they probably gardened back here. All right, that's gonna wrap us up. We'll move on to another property. All right, that's gonna wrap us up here in Bennettsville, South Carolina today at 310 Myrtle. This is, um, we're selling this house to collect the debt. It will be sold at the highest bidder regardless of price. As you can see, needs a little work on the inside, a little yard work out here. I think this will be a good long-term investment for somebody. Hey, a couple of tips before I leave. One, before you bid, read the contract package. It talks about the deposit, the buyer premium, these things that are added on, costs that you'll need to know about. You also have closing cost, and if we have to have a survey for this property to give you a good title, look and see if there's a survey cost in there. Also, remember, it's an online only auction. Nobody will be here at the premises to take your bid. All bidding's on the internet. And it is open for inspection. I highly encourage you to come look at it. It'll be open the day before the uh, bidding ends. You can come out, it'll be open about four hours. Take a look at it, decide whether you like it or not, and then finish your bidding on the next day. But before you bid, read the contract package. Know you've got the money lined up. This is a cash deal. Probably no bank's gonna loan money on this uh, house, so you'll need to have the cash. All right, I'm gonna move on to some other uh, properties. Before I do, remember, online only, terryhow.com. That's the place to bid and buy. We'll see you there, and we wish you much success. Hope you found the video helpful. Hopefully encourage you to come out and look at this property.